Oh. It's a short phrase in the military for the opposition. When Kimmy broke down the definition of what an ops is, I hollered. Like, are you really going to tell us, like, break it down, sis, like we in Sunday school. Tell us what it is. Break it down to us like we in grammar school, like we back in first grade. Yes, tell us the definition of the ops. But, yeah, this episode, I don't know. It was okay. It didn't give what it needed to give to me. I don't know. Like, it was, it was just okay. So I have to admit that I am feeling stoned that Stormy inserted herself way too much in what's going on. I feel as though Melody is a big girl. She doesn't need anybody to be her spokesman or speak for her. So the breakdown between at the Galentine's Center with Stormy and Destiny could have totally been avoided if Stormy really wasn't in it. You know, I feel like Destiny gave her a valid answer. Ask, ask Mel, was that, that is your friend. So why are you asking me? Like, she's, that's true. Like, I already know y'all already talking about me. So you really do have to go to your friend, ask your friend. Mel is your friend. Why would you think you would get an answer from me? And why do I got to answer you just because you asked me? I, I think that's probably what Destiny said. I don't want to talk about it with you. Just me and it's between me and Mel. And that's that. Like, we don't got to put our issues out on the front table, on the table. Just, you know, for your entertainment. Like, no, we're not going to do that. So, I just feel like that whole situation escalated when Stormy interjected herself. You know, and I guess the thing is, everybody to me is like so calm and chill for the most part on this show. And I just feel like stormy isn't like i'm not relating to her i don't know how old she is or you know and i don't want to like they say i'm not trying to judge a book by its cover but you know i feel like she's a little too rah-rah for me you know like yeah but I, you know i'm not going to judge her based off of what i seen but i guess in a way i kind of just did but i i don't know y'all help me out what do y'all think of um concerning the breakdown with stormy and mel and destiny do you feel like what stormy was saying was warranted or she she should have just basically stayed out of it i feel as though she should have stayed out of it because it really wasn't about her like melody said they had a private conversation previously just because we don't want to discuss it in front of you or in front of everybody else doesn't mean that like you know it didn't happen or we need to we don't need to be put on front street the thing it's a galentine we should be celebrating each other having fun with each other uplifting each other i may not like you at the moment but i feel like you know the other side of me would be able to like be cordial around you because really me i I guess i kind of get mail too when she says after re after shooting she just eliminates herself she's just like you know doesn't talk to anybody because i'm that kind of person as well um i will go ghost (laughs) but or just like i just will just like fall back you know sometimes you need your space so being as though this is a show i feel like you know some of the stuff is probably dramatized but if it was real real life like i wouldn't even be hanging out i wouldn't even be showing up to these things where somebody there that i really don't like or i'm really not cool with because what is the point point? and that goes for anybody you know family the same way i don't care if we got the same but you're not gonna annoy me you're not gonna i i, I don't want the drama bring me peace Ain't nobody bring me no bad news. So don't try to say nothing to make me feel a certain type of way. Don't try to do no dig. Don't do no cyber mo- None of that, okay? It's not nice to talk. go to the family reunions and say, oh, when's this happening for you? Oh, did you graduate from college yet? And you look like this. And why your hair like that? And you like your natural... Like, ain't nobody trying to hear all that. I don't care if you are a granny or a rel- relative to me don't don't do it so i say all that to say (laughs) i wouldn't even be in those situations if like melody melody really doesn't like teaching all them i ain't doing it for kimmy either ain't no kumbaya moment um unless we're gonna have like professional um therapists or something like that but until then don't even bother me don't even ask me to come because i will not be there but another thing i wanted to talk about was as people brought up like 
Um, Tisha was very, no, if you buck, huh? No, if you buck when it came to this Galentine's dinner, but she don't have that same energy when it comes to her man. And I feel like a lot of people are like that. A lot of people are nice, nice, who they nice, nice with people who they feel is important in their lives, and then they're gonna be mean to the people who they feel like they could care less about. So, yes, of course, Tisha is gonna have like kind of kid gloves when it comes down to her husband, but I do feel like in life mastery is about treating people the same all the way around like even if you are my husband or whatever spouse i will expect respect from you just like i will expect respect from a stranger or like one of my female friends or anything you know respect all the way around because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what my title is or my position is in life i'm god's child and jesus christ out on the cross for me so you're going to act like you know like if he thought i was special and worth dying for then i expect that same energy all around and if i don't get it i will let you know see that's a boundary i will let you know this is an expectation of me and if you cannot honor that then i will have to disassociate myself so nevertheless i say all that to say like you know, before I'm somebody's wife, before I'm somebody's this, before I'm somebody's that, I'm God's child. And I'm worth, you know, showing respect towards, you know? So, that's how come I feel like I get what people are saying. Like, if you got all this rah-rah for Melody and for feeling like she called you the ops, have that same kind of energy towards your husband and you can do it i think and that's another thing too sometimes we don't want to give that kind of energy because we're afraid to lose a person you know see and i learned that when you're afraid to lose something you're still in the scarcity mindset so you know being okay with letting situations in or go but at the same time i cannot let myself go i cannot put myself out there to be you know on a chopping block you know for no i have to that's what that's what that's what we like about people you know we like when people love themselves and put themselves first that's why we gravitate towards those kind of people people so i just feel like we need to be the same way you know do what makes you happy first not at the expense of hurting anybody but you know hey i don't like the way you're talking to me hey don't have me out on these streets looking crazy hey you know speak up for yourself but overall I just wanted to talk about those things in particular. What was your favorite scene of this showdown, of this show, this episode? I really feel like I got a lot of insight on, like, the friend dynamic stuff. And like I said, I would just basically pull myself away from the situation if I was any of them. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. You treating him like he's the prize. He is not the prize. You got to understand you the prize, he's not the prize.